Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. You guys really loved and shared feedback that I should cover more of how to debug Angular apps tutorials. So this is the second part of it. Um, hopefully you have seen the first uh, part where I've shown you some basics of how to debug Angular applications. And today I'm going to go one step further and I'm going to actually create the errors for you and you will know how to debug them. Right. So we'll go over some uh, 10 uh, common errors that we see in Angular and then we'll know how to fix them practically. Let's get started. Uh, before I get started, uh, please do check out uh, my other playlist on the channel on Angular, MeanStack, MongoDB, Node.js, Express and much, much more. Uh, please uh, do subscribe to my channel if you like the content, if you like the tutorials. Thank you in advance. All right, so let's get this party started. All right, so this is part one where I have shown you all these details of how to debug Angular applications. You really loved it. Now, this is the second part. Today, we are going to start seeing all the errors. OK, so let's see that. So the first common error that you see is um, router outlet is no, not a known element, right? So you would see some error like this I have on the, your screen, which says router outlet is not a known element. So why does this happen? This happens when you have not included router module in your ng module right so let me go ahead and create that error for you in real time and show you how this works okay so we have our application i'm using this uh, common uh, application for now so what we are going to do router outlet is unknown element so i'm going to go to any component and just throw in router outlet for now so see what i'm saying is this particular component has a router outlet now this will start giving us error because router for router outlet you need a routing module right let's check if it's already included it should not be okay so it's included here i'm going to remove it right now and here also i'm going to remove all right now see i have included the router outlet in the component but from the modules i removed it so now when you go and see the error you would see that it will say that unable to bind router link right and router outlet is not is an angular is not a known element right so remember that whenever you see this error which means router outlet that means you have not included the router module and you need to include it in that particular module then only it will be fixed right that's error number one that we will we saw router outlet is not a known element the second one is a very very common one that uh, a lot of people ask me in the comment section also so i thought i'll address it here which is parameter implicit has any type now this you would see from angular 12 or angular 11 onwards that we it requires it to have any type specific type when you pass a parameter but do not specify any type that's when you would see these errors let me recreate this error for you I'm going to the service file, use a service and see here now that we are passing data type here. See, this is a parameter. This is the data type parameter data type, right? Now I'll remove this. Now uh, what I've done, I'm saying that I'm going to pass a parameter here, but I'm not specifying any data type. So parameter ID implicitly has any type. Correct. So there are two ways to fix this one. Either you specify any. This is a basic one if you want to fix. But in Angular applications in enterprise level, usually you would do data type casting. That means you would assign the type of data it is like observable or um, whatever that it's type of like a user object or user or model, basically interface, whichever interface you want to pass. So make sure that whenever you type cast it, give a proper data type like string or a particular in your case it could be anything like user role anything so the idea is don't write any that's not a very good um, practice because any means it will pass any time any data there is no strict data type casting so always make sure that you pass some proper meaningful data so similarly whenever you see that message which says parameter user object implicitly has any any type so it, here it is user object but it can be any name implicitly has any type that means you need to define the 
data type for it okay that's error number two error number three property does not exist on type okay so let's create a property this one this happens when you are trying to call something which does not exist in your component let's see so I'm going to create a some object okay so this is an object and I'm creating a param here and say some name okay so this is an object now I want to display it in the template so let's use it here and I'm going to just do an interpolation this is fine because it's an object so you won't see any error you it's successfully compiled because there is no it's not a problem because this object exists in the component but now if I do if I want to print some property which is not there see here I have defined these two username and ID in this object but I am passing something called some name but it does not exist right so that is where you would see the compilation error which says you see here this says clearly that property does not exist on type and it is showing you the type that this is the type you have but this property does not exist so whenever you see that message in your template which says property does not exist check for the property if that really exists or not in your code all right so the next error that common error is it isn't a known property right now this is something that we see quite a lot often but the actual fix is very very simple which is that we are missing some sort of module that it has to be called right now let me recreate this error for you now we are saying can't bind data so let's say I go to users module and in the list here we are using a data table right so I'm going to go ahead and remove the table module I have removed the table module so now it will start giving us all type of errors that it is see can't bind to data source since it isn't a known property of table right that means and it shows that where it is going wrong that means here this particular module is missing that's that's why it is not able to bind data source this definition of data source is in the table module but we have not imported that and that's why the error comes so whenever you see that error which says it isn't a known property of this that means you're missing its module most likely so let's put it back all righty now it should be good back to normal all right let's go to the next error property has no initializer and it's is definitely not assigned in the constructor right now this is yet another common mistake that uh, this you would be seeing from angular 11 onwards that if you have let's say a variable right and let's say username and I'm saying or let's say user active and I'm saying it's a boolean value but what I have not done is I have not initialized it right I have declared it I have declared the variable I have declared the data type of it but what I have not done is I have not assigned or initialized it so when you take the mouse over it will say property has no initializer and is not definitely assigned in a constructor so either you assign the value in a constructor or the best practice is to initialize where you declare it like this right this is also commonly seen error when you work with form groups right a lot of times people will just write like this form group they will just write form group and they will see this message that has no initializer and it is not definitely initialized and they don't know what to do in these cases what you should do is initialize it with empty or empty array in this case or empty form in this case empty group right so remember whenever you see this error which says property has no initializer and is definitely not assigned that means you have created and declared the variable but you have not initialized it or assigned a value so you need to assign that value okay so let's see what is the error here
okay some object does not exist okay so we'll remove this and should be good okay all right so the next error is expression changed after it has been checked error this is one of the most common mistakes that you would see uh, unfortunately i cannot recreate it but i'll show you how to fix it when you see this error okay so this is a common classic case when you're working with large uh, data or complex application where data rapidly changes right now let's see so if you have something like this and say user active is boolean equal to false okay so what i've done i have a variable by the name user active it's boolean value and it's false then you do some operations like ng on in it or call some method and this value keeps on changing to true right so angular would be confused and it doesn't know because it will say this error which is expression changed after it has been checked for so the one good way to fix this is always using ng view on in it that means once the view is set right then you go for it so here you will say view on oh sorry just one second view in it after view in it and on view in it okay so ng on view let's me add it here what is it ng view on in it uh, let's quickly google it view on in it view on in it on in it view i think yes sorry my bad okay so here we are um, after view in it okay so this is the one that we will use which is ng after view in it okay and once we do this we will have to call that so here we'll say after view in it okay so once you have done that then you would say then you do dot user active equal to true and here the best way to do is using change detection strategy so how do we do that we can do something like private change detector ref change detector ref okay so what i've done i'm using the change detector ref and i'm going to say this dot change detect right and say detect changes and so now you are telling angular that wait till the view is loaded once the view is loaded then you do the change detection and that means value will be updated right so this is a classic case whenever you see this error know that that this is how it is fixed okay so what you need to do you need to implement after view in it and change those values and then do a detect changes okay you have to call this method that detect changes once you have loaded the view that is very important to fix this error next one is no provider for token found okay now this is again a classic case where you provide the injectables in root okay so if you see services that we create we write here it we don't write it i mean if you generate it it would automatically write this or we have to write it injectable provided in root that means this is now singleton and is available throughout across but if i don't have this here right if i don't have it it's a service correct you won't see any compilation error let's see here but in few open inspect element in console you would see no provider for user service that means we are the service is correct it's not a compilation error see it's compiled successfully but in the console you would get this error which is no provider for user service so make sure that whenever you see some message like that it means it is not injectable injectable decorator is not provided and provided in should be root okay so now you see it's perfect there is no console error okay so that was no provider for that service error 
last if you are trying to do a data binding okay let's say you're trying to do a data binding and that object itself doesn't exist let's say for example I'm just throwing random users right now see here it will say property users does not exist on this that means what you're trying to bind is not in the component it doesn't know it that's why it will tell you property so one good way where do you see these mistakes whenever you're trying to bind some data and you're going to see some data which you're trying to bind some data but you're really not sure whether it is there or not and if you see this error that means it's not there okay so check your component for that data and fix it accordingly but if you want to see some data is coming which exists you can probably do something like this if data exists then dot length like this right again this has to be defined for sure in your code and if you want to make sure certain times it is there or not then you can do this okay so that's another technique you can use all right so this is classic case of you created a component you did not export it and that's why you will see this error a lot of times people make this mistake which is they will create the component and they will expect it to work but if you don't export it it will not work let me show you that okay so this is compiled green all right so now if you see here we have a list users component right now let's try and use this component in app component here like this list users okay so what I'm trying to do I'm trying to access this component which is in users module and inside app component but remember we have not exported it and that's why you would see that error which says if list users is not a known element which means this angular component was not exported so angular is not aware that it has to be used how do you fix such issues you go to exports add exports and here you export the list users component so what I've done now I've exported the component now it knows the context so now it should be green let's save it and you see okay it still says uh, is a list component is not a known element let's check why what is the name list users app list users okay so let me change that for you app list users okay now see it is compiled green because it knows so for just for that sake I'm going to remove this export once again to show you the error you learn so much from the errors that you will become master in angular now see here same is not a known element because I removed the exports you to fix it add it in the list of exports and you should see that it this error is gone okay it's compiled green okay now if you open your application and say local host also you would see that data alrighty so that was the component which is not exported now this is another classic case where you would see this error which says cannot match any routes now what is when do you see this error you're trying to use router module and try to navigate it okay try to navigate away but since it did not find the route it will give you this error okay so how do you fix this error let's first create the problem and then fix it all right so I'm saying uh, let's go back here again you can use any instance that doesn't matter here I'm going to add private router and router okay and let's import this and then once you have done it what I'm saying is this dot router dot navigate and here I'm saying navigate to create now see we will get this classic error cannot match any routes okay because that route is not defined 
but if you see our um, if you want to go ahead and fix some route okay then you can easily get it if you want to get to this it is under users right so you need to fix by passing and say users okay so now that error is gone okay because whenever you say add user it's going to create or if you want to say whenever user comes on add he has to go to list so that also see he is I click here and he will be redirected to, to list right so what you're doing you have to whenever you see some route not matching that means you need to fix the route issue that is defined Alrighty, so that brings us to the end of this uh, part two of how to debug Angular applications. I hope you like it. I hope you really learn from this. My only intention here is to help you grow, help you learn. So please reach out to me. Let me know how do you find it. If you like it, I'm going to publish more such uh, debug and error um, tutorials so that you learn from errors. We all learn from mistakes. Same here. We learn from errors. Thank you so much for joining. If you like my work, if you like my tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash rtutorials. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.